Thanks for joining in the trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics. And if you have not taken advantage of the sweepstakes yet that First Star Logistics is providing, the prizes are unbelievable right around the holidays, too. Got to take advantage. All the information and links that are needed are in the information below. So make sure you get on board. A lot of people have at this point. All right, time to wash your hands of the New York Jets. Learn your lessons, but move on. Mistakes, correct them, learn from them, accentuate the positives, and get ready for the Cleveland Browns because this is a physical football team. And I think the biggest key in this football game is put on the big boy pads because the Cleveland Browns run the football and stop the run. Let me give you some numbers. Get the old spectacles on here to make sure that I don't mess any of these numbers up. The Browns average 161.1 yards rushing, most in the National Football League. They average 5.2 yards per carry, most in the National Football League. They have 74 first downs rushing, most in the National Football League. 14 rushing touchdowns, most in the National Football League. Then they stop the run. They're only allowing 84.8 yards per game. Third in the league, 3.5 yards per carry. Second in the league. So what they do is they put you in the meat grinder on, on both sides of the football. They're a plus 76.3 yard differential in yards rushing per game, and yards allowed per game is best in the NFL. They outrush the opponent by over three quarters of football field a game. So they're 1.7 yards differential per attempt successfully rushed and per attempt stopped, 5.2 to 3.5. That's a 1.7 plus margin is best in the league. You're going to have to compete at the line of scrimmage. The Cleveland Browns offensive line is a bunch of studs. No other way to describe it. Now, Conklin's injured. He's got a dislocated elbow. He won't be playing. But that group is, is really, really strong. They are very, very good up front. Their defensive line is outstanding as well. Not, not only the defensive ends, but inside defensive tackles as well. They are stopping the run as well as anybody is. So, obviously, first and foremost, put on your big boy pads it's going to be a physical football game. You want to be the most physical football team. I'd love to see Joe Mixon outrush Nick Chubb. That would be a big, big plus in this football game. You're not going to stop Chubb necessarily, but you want to control him. You want to control the explosives. I think it's going to be a big factor in this football game. Will the Bengals have to drop a safety down in the box to get that done? Will they be able to stop the run with seven in the box, or do they have to commit an eighth? If they do have to commit an eighth to stop the run, I say do it. Do it. Do everything you can to control that running game. Make Baker Mayfield make plays to beat you. He's a one-arm thrower. You know, he's got, a, he's got basically a brace on his left arm. His left shoulder dislocates. He to, he's totally torn his labrum, has a fractured bone in his shoulder. And they, they basically totally restrict his movement. So he can't even, you know, lead with his left arm on the follow through. You know, he's a one arm paper hanger out there and it probably going to affect his accuracy. How much will it affect how he gets out of pocket and how he runs around? I mean, that's a big part of their game is the, is run the football, play action pass, get Baker Mayfield out of pocket. Do they want to expose him to those potential hits? I mean, there's a lot of things going on here. If you can stop that running game and only use seven in the box to do it, that's a great advantage. If you do put the eighth in the box, make sure he makes the tackle. Because Cleveland's still going to try to run it, and they're going to say to Chubb, make the unblocked guy miss. If the unblocked guy miss, if he misses, it's a lot of real estate. There's only one safety back there. I mean, they, they put one down in the box. Now it's wide open. If you get past that second level, that's where they can gash you with big runs. So it's going to be very, very important to control Chubb and as many in the box as you need to get it done. Another factor offensively for the Cleveland Browns is the tight end position. The tight end position is, has been outstanding for them. They have 45 catches, 609 yards, and two touchdowns. And they're getting a lot of production out of that position. Najoku, the tight end, is 20 catches, leads the team, tied for the team lead. Now, he's got a 71-yard touchdown catch as well. This kid was first-round pick, a very explosive player. Hooper's is, is a solid tight end. He's got 18 catches. That's third on the team. And then you have Bryant with nine catches for 117 yards. So 
I don't care what it takes. If you have to put a corner on the tight end, or if you have to bracket them with a safety and a linebacker, take care of that tight end position. That's where they get a lot of their passing productivity, particularly with OBJ up in the air. Will he play? Will he not? Will he be released? Will he not be? As we're doing this podcast today, don't know the answers to those questions. All I know is OBJ is a big distraction. <laughs> Love big distractions for the opponent. I mean, that's that's another factor in this football game. All right. Offensively, they've got two defensive ends you need to take care of. They have Garrett and they have Clowney. And they've combined for the most sacks in the National Football League. Garrett has 10 and a half. Clowney has three and a half. 14 sacks out of that pair. You have to take care of both of them. You might have to slide protection to one and keep a tight end to block the other. You might have to put a tight end over on one side and chip with the back on the other. Make sure that those defensive ends do not wreck the game. If you have to max protect and protect, put seven people up front to protect, so be it. Don't let those defensive ends wreck the football game. That's going to be a big, big factor in this game. And then obviously other things, sustain drives. Convert on third down. Convert on third down. The Bengals had three third down conversions on one drive last week against the Jets. The other drives, they went one for 10 on third down. That's, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. So third down conversions on a consistent basis basis keep drives alive control the football the other area because they run the ball so well that the cleveland browns are number one in the league time of possession 33 minutes and two seconds leads to the national football league they play keep away they play keep away they run the ball they stop your running game it's a big part of their dna and then finally take care of the football the cleveland browns for as good as they are defensively the fly in their ointment they only have five takeaways Knock on wood, the Bengals need to take care of the football. Five takeaways is tied for the second fewest in the National Football League with a defense that has all the talent, the explosive athletes up front, and talent on the back end. Only have five takeaways is incredible. Three interceptions, two fumble recoveries. Those two fumble recoveries are tied for second fewest. Take care of the football. You know, a defense like this, at some point they're going to have a breakout game in terms of turnovers. They come in bunches. The Bengals had one last week against the Jets and didn't capitalize. They had three takeaways in the first half against the New York Jets. So take care of the football. You don't want to get in a turnover situation against the Cleveland Browns for sure. There's, there's no two ways about that. Another must, obviously, in this football game to control the running game of the Cleveland Browns is sure tackling. You got a gang tackle. Don't leave your teammate out there one-on-one -on -one in space against Chubb, the tight ends, wide receivers, anybody. We saw 15 missed tackles last week against New York Jets. One of the big reasons the Bengals lost the football game. The Jets had 280 yards after catch and over 55 yards after first contact in the running game. How about the Cleveland Browns? In the last two years, they have 2,580 yards after contact, second most in the National Football League. This year, they get 981 yards after contact. Most in the National Football League. They have 41 runs of 10 yards or more. Most in the National Football League. So what I'm saying is, sure tackling is a must. The Cleveland Browns will make you pay if you don't get them on the ground. No reaching, grabbing, pulling guys to the, run, to the ground. Get your head in front. Open an official doesn't throw a flag for helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. Get your head in front. Get your body in front. Wrap them up. Take them to the ground. We used to do a routine tackling drill to the start of every practice when Paul Brown was head coach. And you'd line up with an offensive lineman who work together. Quarterbacks would even do it against each other. Line up five yards apart, go on a 45-degree angle, and get your head in front, not full speed, just form tackling. Get your head in front, body across roll them, take them to the ground. Started every practice with that. Paul Brown, I'll never forget his quote. We can trick them. We can trick them every once in a while. But guys, in order to win football games, there's two football principles, two football fundamentals that you have to do. Block and tackle. And I don't care what level of football, who your opponent is, 
we're not going to be able to trick them every single play. The team that blocks and tackles better is going to win football games. Melt it right down to its simplest terms. Paul Brown, the football genius he was, realized that you had to have those two things happen in order to go out and execute and win football games. It's simple. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. <laughs> Brakes? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right. You yeah, know, you know, you gotta get that body right. That's so. right. Yes, sir. Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out FirstStarLogistics.com.